Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. I'm your host, Twin Zinc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. Hey, welcome to welcome to another show. And we're coming at you today with two special guest stars. Nash Designs and Crafts. Sweetness. <laughs> yes, sir. We can live with this one. All right. <laughs> okay. We. I think we're going to readdress a question we answered earlier. Um, it was just the fellas on that one about when is a good time to get married. So today we'll be going to listen into it from a woman's point of view. Well, yeah, we'll let the ladies start off on it. You want to take over? So I think it's a, a loaded question between when a woman is really, truly ready to get married from a maturity perspective versus when she's around potential spouses <laughs> or future spouses. Oh. And, and Yeah, no, I, I just want you, I'm going to need you to expand on that just a little bit. <laughs> Keep going, I like what this is at. So um, I think when when you're a young woman and you're in high school or college, that a lot of women are married to their high school sweethearts or college sweethearts, right? Um, or it tends to be someone that they've met when they've been in their first job straight out of college, when you've got a tendency to be around the, a lot of other young people your age that you're interacting with in, in a professional environment. I think the older you get, the more mature you get, the more your career grows, those opportunities to meet potential future spouses in the work environment, in your day-to-day environment, become slimmer and slimmer. So although when and what what do, what is that criteria to say that a woman is ready? I, I think it takes a little bit maturity, although, you know, women tend to mature a little bit faster than men. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the wheels are rolling over there. The wheels are rolling. I see. Stuff. I don't want to do it. Go ahead, really say it. it. Okay. Um, I'm not sensitive now. No. It, it, yeah. Um, there's no easy way to go here. <clears throat> okay. You said a lot of stuff right I then did. that has. It's sad because I understand where you're saying it from, uh-huh. and it's so wrong, but it's normal. Here's what you said. Okay. Normally, this is this is something me and you talked about earlier, right, about the number of sexual partners and when you become active. Remember? So, what happens is, when you're early in life, you're high school, early college, you might meet somebody you can pair bond with and marry. Mm -hmm. As you get older and more mature, you find that less possible. But, and I'll be honest, it's most likely less possible because you've had a certain number of sexual partners that make it very difficult to pair (laughs) pair bond going forward. What? You, you You just, wait, you just said it though. And po- no, 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 that's not no, what no, you no, just no, said. No, no, so, no, 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 wait, that wait. is not what you, I said. Okay, then wait, wait, one more thing. Then, then <laughs> you just say, so not then, what I then said. you just say, you're equating what I said to sex, and it's not about sex. It's always about sex. It's when not you get about married. sex. <laughs> Did we say marriage? It's not about marriage sex. is about sex. It's a big part of that in there, isn't sex it? Sex is a part of marriage. You just said women mature faster than men, didn't you? Yeah, but what they got to do, I'm talking about emotionally you, and mentally mature. What hmm. they got to do. So as a woman okay, gets I'm more lost. emotionally and you. mentally mature, uh-huh. you lose the ability to pick somebody to marry? I didn't say that. It has nothing yeah, to do with you your... Did. No, it didn't. No, that's not <laughs> what I said. Let me clarify for you what I said. What I said was that you are less likely to be surrounded by future potential spouses when you're in college you you're with a whole bunch of people y'all on the same level right you're all getting an education right you you meet people who are single who are having fun and just doing whatever right you're getting your education Mm -hmm. your first job out of school a lot of times corporations hire in a whole bunch of college graduates at the same time so you're still surrounded by people in the same category as you 
meaning I'm surrounded by a lot of people that I could potentially date. What I'm saying is as, as you mature, you're around a lot less, at least from, from my personal experience. As I've grown in my career, the, the opportunity for me to be around people who are A, single, B, my age range, right? Looking, whatever it is, that gets slimmer. That has nothing to do with sex and has everything to do with the environment that I'm in. So that's not to say if I didn't change my environment and surround myself with other like-minded people or people in the same stage of life, that that opportunity wouldn't increase other than at my age, people who want to be married more than more likely there's a bigger percentage of those people who are already married and in committed relationships. It what I said had nothing to do with sex. I know. <laughs> and and mostly that's because as a woman you were gonna leave that out. I'll give you that. But you can't you're not gonna win this one. I'm sorry. I I'm didn't not, say sex was not important. <laughs> I didn't say you need didn't need to be with a compatible sexual partner, but it has nothing to do with the number of partners you've had. Yes, it does. How? Explain that because to me. Because there now I'm I'm called the statistician certain at certain times. You can look this up. Mm-hmm. Once women hit a certain number of sexual partners, oh, they lose their wait, they lose <laughs> the ability. No, I'm just saying they lose the ability to pair bond properly. What does that mean? Be with somebody. <laughs> what does that mean? What does pair bond properly mean? When you get married, you're supposed to bond with your husband. Hopefully, you're bonded with your, your husband wife. prior to marriage. Well, normally, you've probably bonded with quite a few people prior to marriage, which makes it difficult to maintain a marriage. What? I mean, <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. Why don't you How? break down? Why? Break, you break still down. Help, help me out. Let him break it down. Well, Please so, do. So, well, see, I mean, once again, as an argument standpoint, I don't even know if this is the right place for this conversation, but... The problem being is that if you're going to have a long, long term relationships, especially over the last couple of decades, have broken down with the fact that women, unlike men, are having a lot more sex outside of marriage that wait, wait, that has a detrimental effect. Men don't do the same thing women do when they're. (laughs) See. I'm taking it there because okay. it, it's from a scientific from 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 you can you can look everything so, so, up. I'm looking. Okay, I'm so saying. if I do, let me just repeat what okay, I heard okay. you say. You said when men, when women step outside of their marriage, the effect is more detrimental. No, not outside of marriage. You never got married. Not you. Not got married. We're this is prior to marriage. If if you the younger a, a person is that starts having sex per se, the more sexual partners they have the more difficult it is for them to find somebody to pair bond with, a.k.a. marry. Why? What do, what do you mean by pair bond, and what, is, what does because, that mean? Because pair bond is marrying somebody. <laughs> That's when you get married. But what does, it, what does how many sexual partners a person has had have anything to do Bec- with them finding somebody pair bonding, compatible? Pair bonding is also a physical and emotional connection. Okay. The more, but the problem is the more sexual partners you have as a woman, unfortunately, the less likely you are to be able to pair bond. Okay, but you're not I'm going into why. Not answering so, my question. So continue. Okay. What's the with logic your... behind? You made the statement, and you keep making the same statement. I need to understand what the logic is behind that. What do you mean the logic? What's I'm, the logic? If you, you mean, made that, yeah, why? Why, why is that? <laughs> as, far as, as far as many, as far as. <clears throat> The many partners that someone have prior to get married is that what? You, they, yes, he's saying that I mean, no, the no, more no, partners no, you no. have, the less likely you are to find a mate. So why is what why she's asking? Is that? Because unfortunately, men and women are different. Okay, and okay. naturally, no. <laughs> well, those differences are pretty big because a lot of women tend to do what they think men do. I've heard it said, even yesterday by someone else, that I can do anything a man can do. Physically, you can. Except for the fact that a man isn't de- a man is designed to have multiple sexual partners. It's it's what he's designed to do. A woman isn't. <laughs> as such, as a simple fact, you can once again everything I say is Googleable. But 
<laughs> it's been found that when a woman has sex, she maintains the DNA of every sexual partner she has inside of her. That that actually explains why old people who've been married for a long time tend to start looking alike. Technically, the guy is like Gene, slowly but slowly changing you to resemble him. Either way, but the once you hit a certain number, it's something. It's a trigger inside of a woman's head that makes it difficult for her to emotionally bond with that guy long term. I think that's a load of crap. Fair <laughs> enough. Once again, you can go, you can Google anything. Oh, you say, I say I don't. No, 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 no. No argument that you can find what you're saying on Google. Just because it's on Google, don't mean I got to buy into it or believe Fair enough. it. And once again, that's what this is about. It's opinions, but. A lot of what you said kind of matches what they were saying. And, so, and what I was talking about had nothing to do with sex and had to do with being around other people and being around enough other people to meet someone that you click with. Yeah, I know. I understand. And that's, I understand as you get older, of course, you will, your available pool of potential mates will get slimmer, but... You chose because you were doing whatever you wanted to do at that point to not bond or mate with somebody long term. You were enjoying your life. You cho- You may have chose not to get married. Or when I was you a chose single to parent lo- who was working a demanding job and had a child with mental health issues, another one with learning disabilities, and it was too much for me to take on the responsibility of a relationship. So I put taking care of my kids first had nothing to do with me being out there enjoying life or doing anything else, why I chose not to. However, I've always felt like when God is done with me and it's time, he will put the right person in my life. So be it God's will, I haven't given up on finding a life partner. But it's not because I was out enjoying life and sowing my oats and (laughs) trying to sleep with every man I thought was fine. Okay, I'm, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take that out. I'll end it there. But it is, once again, I under, everything, just the fact of when it's the right time. I think I'll amend my previous statement on our previous ones. If you don't get married early, the chance of you getting married later drops precipitously. And that was the point that I but, was making. I ju- you just attributed no, it to set how many sexual por- no, partners. No, I agree with what you were saying. I was pointing out. I, I'm, I'm sorry, that's what I do. It was my fault. But it, I was pointing out that the factors in, in corp, I mean, uh, encasing you, that answer, it, it's really easy. I don't like doing that on our podcast because we can do that all the time. People will give you a big, vague answer about it, something. But, you know, let's get grain. Let's talk. Let's uh-huh. let's draw blood on the conversation because that's how you get to know and understand. I agree with you. But why was what you were saying was true? And then I and then I went deeper. And and not saying that that can't be a factor, mm-hmm. but I don't think that that's the biggest factor. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's the biggest factor. So I mean, the question was when's the right time. So I didn't even answer that question. I just exactly. said when. As women mature, and the more mature you are, hopefully you get mature enough to be able to handle being in a relationship, right? And and if you're getting married, assuming that you want to have children, you got to be able to put the kids before your own selfish needs. And it takes a certain amount of maturity. People are going to grow. Spouses grow. People continue to grow their entire lives until their last day on this earth. So are you mature enough to allow your partner to grow while you grow and still maintain an open line of communication and continue to work on the relationship? Because it requires work, right? So a lot of people get married for, for the wrong reasons, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. you find somebody that you're attracted to, you want to get married. A lot of people get married because they want the white picket fence and two and a half kids and the image of a certain life. I did. I did and, and, and turn around <laughs> <laughs> did, and marry the wrong person to accomplish that. So at what point in time in life do you know yourself enough to know and be honest with yourself and honest with your partner about what it is that you want in life, right? And ensuring that what both of you want is aligned to the point where someone's not going to have to completely give up who they are, what they want to be in that marriage, right? To me, you've got two healthy emotional people who know how to, com- two emotionally healthy people that know how to communicate and know how- who they are and what they want. That's the best pairing. 
Okay. Uh, when it comes to two people, now can those two are those two people sexually compatible? <laughs> you know, do they find each other mm-hmm. attractive enough? Because you know, then, then you find people who find people who who are aligned, and there's no sexual attraction, right? So there, there's all kinds of challenges out here. <laughs> Excellent answer. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> y'all just took <laughs> over the show. Mine is all over. I'm tired. Yeah, to... I don't think it was fair the way y'all were just staring at us right there. Either. They were over there like, let us go they, back they, and forth. Like, right? they, they like, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just have to be quiet and listen. Right. Sometimes you learn. As you learn listen. a thing or two. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, even though I'm on the show, we hosted. I'm still learning. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't think about that. So. <laughs> I don't really have nothing to add into it. I mean, I think y'all dialogue was really good on both sides, uh, where you're coming from and where he's coming from as well. Uh, I, <laughs> it's funny because, um, like you said, you were saying everything, but you didn't say sex. And we know sex is not the base of everything, right? <laughs> but as you were saying it, you wasn't going to bring that up. And I get it. <laughs> Why? And, and, and I get it. I get it. I mean, it's not the base of all things, but I, I get it where he was coming from, and I, and I knew he was going. Yeah, there. I'm like, not some kind of sexual deviant or nothing <laughs> like that. I, hmm. No. And, and Wait a minute. As, as important as important as sex is, though. <laughs> Years. <laughs> <laughs> but as important as sex is in a relationship, you can al- also find somebody that you're sexually compatible with that's not healthy for you. So I, I, I do have one question for you. Mm-hmm. I do have a question for you, sweetness. <laughs> so, um, so now, like I said, you're not looking, right? right. You know, you know, you're not looking. But um, as far as a partner mm-hmm. that. Um, that might be a potential, whatever case may be. Do they have to be on the same level as you as far as financially or like mentally they need to be on my level. Mentally level. Okay. <laughs> Ment- mentally they need to be on my level and I think um being where I am in my life from a financial perspective, the way I manage my funds, how resp- how, how I handle what finances I have available to me. How somebody manages their finances is important, okay. right? Because mm-hmm. I know what I want for my future, and a lot of it is going to stem on how I manage my financial resources to get to my future goals. So okay. it would be important that whoever that person is, is that we're aligned on how we manage our money. All right. And another question here. Sure. <laughs> um, um, <clears throat> Because you're at a mature age now, right? <laughs> Did he roll his neck when he said it? <laughs> not trying to call nobody old. Right? I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I do too. I think I'm older. <laughs> oh, sorry, you just old. <laughs> so, so, um, because like I said, you, you have not been married, right? And marriage is not off the table. So. Is there, would there be kids possibly in the Ooh. future? No, sir. That shop is closed. Uh, <laughs> done. <laughs> now, one, now, now, one thing I would say that you have a great benefit as, as far as not, um, as far as not, you know, you have kids, they're grown now, right? Right. So now, as far as the dating for you, I mean, you, you, you do have, I mean, the options are kind of slim, but it's still good in your favor. Because now, the person that you mean, you go like, okay, all right. Conversations should be really good here. Do you want kids? Yes or no? So mm. if they say yes, no, sorry, we this ain't gonna work <laughs> out. Yeah, right. Next. Right. Yeah, you can Swipe volunteer. Left. You can volunteer right. down at the center. There's plenty of kids. <laughs> Coach a team or something. Exactly. Secondly, but, but, but that's but that's not that's not a substitute for a man who has never had children. And so it's a different. I think it's a different conversation with a man who has children versus mm-hmm. one who's never had a child. Right. <clears throat> You can tell someone who already has children, go coach, mm-hmm. right? Someone who's never had children, that's 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 a lot to ask someone to oh, yeah. give up, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then you've got men who have never raised or their children have never lived in the home with them who have children and who want that. They want to be a, a present 
that, that on was, a day to day. So there may be a man who has a child whose child hasn't been in the home with them that really wants that. Again, that's a lot to ask somebody to give up. Mm -hmm. But knowing who I am as a parent, my kids come first. They've always come first. I haven't even quite put myself first yet. And, and I'm an empty nester, a new empty nester. So um, <clears throat> I, I, it's time for me to put myself yeah, I was going to say that because, I mean, your your kids are not kids no more. They're uh, young adults. Young adults, yes. <laughs> buying houses and stuff. So they, they pass the kid part. So, yes, yes. I mean, they still always be your baby, but it's time for it's you to time live for, me. for you. Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm not going to ask you a million questions, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's turn a dating game. Look, this right. is turn into the Sweetness Dating Show. <laughs> How many eligible bachelors are there? Right. You know? Well, just remember, uh, guys, uh, her IG name is Sweetness as well. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, that was a great topic. Um, any closing remarks or questions anybody want to say before we wrap this up? Nope. That was fun. <laughs> all right, everybody. Once again, thank you for listening to the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Download the app Spreaker so you can comment into the app so we can build up our platform because we do plan to go live, live chat, live call, all that fun stuff. Once again, you have a great day. Peace.